welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be doing a week in my hair from the wash and go that i just did where i did two different combos on you know two different sides so this is day one and i'm just i took my bonnet off and i'm shaking my hair and stretching it and stuff making sure that that middle part is not showing and um just showing you guys like the difference on how it looks first day um it's not completely dry right here the um uncle funky daughter side is still wet which is the left side so the left side is still wet and i believe that's the uncle funky daughter side um and then this is day two and this is what my hair is looking like i think day two is the day that I was actually dry so all i really do is i take my bonnet off i shake my head and i stretch it it's not really much to do when my washing goes actually look good so yeah that's all i did for the first two days Alright guys, so this is my hair completely dry and it is day two. It took about two days for my right side to dry, which had the uncle funk face on the side. But I did too. But I'll be saying, what what side do you guys like? This is the Mitchell's little secret. This is the Uncle Funky Daughter. Okay? Comment down below. But I personally like the Nature's Little Secret side. It dried faster, it gave me the crunch and the definition and stuff that I was looking for. And then the Nature's Little Secret is a little bit, I'm um, not the Nature's Little Secret. The Uncle from the Daughter is a little bit more elongated. It's less like volume. It, it, and it took a while to dry and I got more frizz and less definition. So, I really do like both. They feel good. I just re-moisturized my hair because I need it. But yeah. Right here is day three, and this time I kind of use my scarf to kind of do like a pineapple situation. Um, when I wrap my hair at night, I just didn't really want to continue to smush my curls the way that they normally get smushed when I don't do this. Um, but this is a little bit hard to take down also because I got to stretch the side. So I guess it just kind of depends on what look you're going for. But um, either or really works for me. And so, yeah, I just kind of like make sure that I, you know, pull it down and everything like that also i did do scalp massages every other day just about or every day um because i'm really trying to stick to that but yeah i'm doing the same thing it's just a little bit more pulling i feel like on the sides and stuff when my hair is up in like a pineapple form so yeah just continue to do that and then i go on about my day and if i need to i'll put like an oil or something but for the most part i didn't really need to This is what day three hair is looking like. Let me know what side you guys like best. Left is Uncle Funky's daughter and right is Nature's Little Secret. All right, guys. So for today, I wanted to show you guys how I moisturized my hair. I moisturized it yesterday, but I want to moisturize it again because I'm trying to get rid of this um, crunch and it's just not going away. So first, I take a leave-in conditioner just to wet my hair. And yesterday, I used the HB, HBJ Glam, so that's what I'll be using today. And I just wet my hair. And then from there, I'm going to kind of like squeeze it in. Now, I like to do this because one is going to hopefully help me get rid of this cast because I did it yesterday, so I had to get moisturized. And then when it dried, it got back hard. Um, so this this cast is really really strong. Um, that's one thing. Um, but yeah, once that's in, then I will go in with my moisturizer. So you can use what you use for the wash and go. You can use something else. But I'm going in with what I use on my left side only, all over my head, and that is the avocado moisture cream from Nature's Little Secret. And I don't take a lot of this. I just take enough, and I will like rub it and squeeze it into my hair just to give it some moisture. And already that looks better it feels better um and yeah i'm noticing that like this like combo that i did previously doesn't really flake so adding more products that are the same on top has not flaked it either and onto the other side i'm not going heavy handed with it i'm just going based off of what i feel like my hair needs especially with it being winter time it just needs a little bit more i normally don't do this but 
in the winter time it's like necessary i'm starting to like not want to do wash and goes in the winter because they take long to dry and stuff like that and it just dries out my hair when the air is already dry so um i only did this because i need to do something quick to my hair and wash and goes are the quickest instead of waiting for like a twist out or a braid out or something to dry and i've also been really enjoying putting oil on my scalp and doing scalp massage so i'm going to do that also now that my hair is done and it's moisturized, it's gonna feel nice overnight, but then I'm pretty sure in the morning it's gonna feel like I did absolutely nothing, which is fine because I could do this every night and it doesn't seem like it will affect my results at all. So for my oil, I'm using, um, what is in here? There is some wild growth oil and my twisted texture growth serum. That's in here, I'm using it in this dropper just because it's easier to drop into my hair. And yeah, I'm just trying to finish this up. Okay, so that's basically what I do to my hair to re-moisturize and to do a scalp massage. Sometimes I will use like a tool. Sometimes I'll use this, but because my hair is in the wash and go, I just, it's easier to use my finger so that I don't really mess up my hair. And then lastly, I'll put on my scarf to do a pineapple and then my bonnet, or I'll just put on my bonnet depending on how I'm feeling. So I'm putting on my scarf to put into a pineapple and then put on my bonnet. So yeah, this is how I will go to sleep, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow when I take down my hair. Alright guys, it's day four, and sorry if I look like a glazed donut, I just moisturized. I'm going to take down my hair, not much really to say, so I'm going to just let you guys watch. And right here is day five and I was really mad at myself for how I um, put my hair away. I like pushed it back and so it really stretched out my front and just gave me a weird shape on both sides and it just was not a good idea at all. Um, but what can you do? I tried my best to fix it as best as I can um it probably would have been better if I went in with some water but because this was the morning time I don't really like to like re-wet my hair in the morning like I could do it at night I know it's gonna dry overnight and then I'm good in the morning but I don't want to do that in the morning so I didn't um so my shape kind of did get messed up and I will not be doing that method again I've seen it work for people and I just don't know why it didn't work for me I don't really feel like I did anything different but it's fine I also did notice like a little slight flakes but it wasn't unnoticeable I just wear a lot of black so I do see it but um yeah this is what my hair is looking like I honestly was over it at this point but yeah so all right guys so today is the last day of this wash and go i will be washing my hair tomorrow so i just wanted to take it down one last time with you guys i didn't show um me putting it up because i just wanted to lay down and watch a movie and i just didn't feel like recording it but basically i just okay um yeah i just put my scarf on around my edges and then i put my bonnet on top because the way i slept with it the night before i didn't like how it looked so i just did what i normally do but yeah so I'm going to stretch my hair out. Um, if you see stuff flying around, it's because my hair is starting to flake. Um, and I play in my hair a lot, like, so you'll see some parts are just longer than others. But my hair normally tends to flake, um, you know, when it's washed day, like, no matter what. Um, but sometimes I'll say it's not flaking because, like, you literally can't see it um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think this wash and go held up a really, really good. Like, the curls are still there. If I wanted to refresh with a little bit of water and just smooth my hair, I think I can bring this wash and go back to life. Um, but one is too cold for that. And two, I'm just ready to wash my hair. And, um, yeah. But, yeah, I liked what it did on both sides. I feel like one side gave me bigger, you know, voluminous results. But the other side gave me 
you know, some elongation. They both gave definition, so I'm not worried about that. And they both gave moisture. And I only moisturized like two times. And since then, I haven't, and my hair feels really good, like without re moisturizing. Um, and I don't always re moisturize my wash and goes because one, I don't feel like it, and two, I don't have to. And I didn't really have to do this one. It's just that the, the crunch was so strong, I was trying to get rid of it. And now the crunch is a little bit less. Actually, it's a lot bit less. Um, but yeah, still giving definition, still giving curls and everything like that. I think it held up really, really well. And I do like both sides. I probably wouldn't do a half and half again because they do give different, like, you know, looks. And I don't want to be walking around like I have two different, you know, heads or whatever. So yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. I did stretch it from like, you know, wrapping it up bad at one time on my left side. This side didn't really stretch that much, even though I did the same thing. But this side is my looser side, more frizzy. Um, and I did like that this side stayed defined for the most part um, because it normally does not. So I think this wash and go was a success. If you guys haven't seen the video on when I installed this wash and go, then um, make sure you watch it. I will link it. But yeah, I think both sides did really, really well. And um, I would definitely be using this combo again. So yeah, here's what my hair is looking like. I will be washing it when I come home, most likely. I will break my wash day into two if I feel like it. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.